जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत जराध शिवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत जराध शिवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधो जगत पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमो स्तुति तप्त कंचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदानेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चे नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर श्री राधे गुरुकानंद भगवान की बोलो श्रीमद भागवतम की जय हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा निशा कैसे हो ऑल टैक्सीज आर डन एक्सटेंशन आर डन चलो नाइस टू सी यू एंड हम लोग कैंटो एट शुरू करे हैं दिस वीक सो स्टार्टेड ऑन मंडे स्टार्टेड विद एट कैंटो एंड एज वी नो दे आर ट्वेल्व बुक्स राइट एंड वी आर ऑन एट बुक एंड लास्ट टू डेज वी कम्प्लीटेड वन अध्याय already <clears throat> and in the first adhyay parikshit maharaj sukhdev goswami ji ko sab manu ke bare mein manu antar ke bare mein batane ke liye bol rahe hain so sukhdev goswami ji started talking about shambhu manu we have read a lot about shambhu manu and the descendants of shambhu manu right like maharaj utan pad son was dhru so we read about the whole through story the his daughters akuti and dehuti and dehuti we read about how she got married to kargam muni and they had nine daughters and then they had kapil muni as a son and then we read the whole sankhya vigyan given by kapil muni who was none other than avatar of lord vishnu himself and then we read about yagya bhagwan who is also incarnation of lord vishnu as son of akuti and then sukhdev goswami ji was talking about second manu i don't know if you remember the name of second manu right at sorosh sorosik sorosisha yeah that's second manu and the name of third manu is uttam easy to remember the name of third manu uttam and then sukhdev goswami ji was describing the fourth manu the tamsa and then tamsa when he was describing he was also mentioning that during fourth manu's tenor duration uh <clears throat> gajendra moksha uh, story took place and then parikshit maharaj is asking sukhdev goswami ji to narrate that whole gajendra moksha story in detail and then that's what we are reading now so in the second adhyay first shlok uh sukhdev goswami ji starts talking about The Gane Gajendra Moksha story. So he started Shlok one. Anandji. Sri Shuka Vacha Asid Girvaro Rajasthi Kuta Iti Vishuka Hero Dena Brata Sri Manyo Jana Yuth Murchita. Sukadev Goswami said, "My dear king, there is a very large mountain called Trikut. It is ten thousand yojans." Thousand miles high, being surrounded by the ocean of milk, it is very beautifully situated. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So the Sukhdev Goswami is saying that the Trikut mountain, yeah, Trikut, and is surrounded by Kshir Sagar. Kshir Sagar is the ocean of milk, and that's the story Sukhdev Goswami is talking about. Okay. तावता विस्तृता पर पर वितर भी श्रृंगई 
पयोनिधम दिशा खम रोचन रोचन नास्तिक नास्तिक ते रौप्याय सही सहिरम सहिरम में मया है अन्यश कुकुभ सर्वा रत्ना रत्न धातु विचित्र तय नाना दुम मलता गुल मैन मैन घोषिन निर्जराम साम the length and the breadth of the mountains mountain are the same measurement 80000 miles its three principal peaks which are made of iron silver and gold beautify all directions and the sky the mountain also has other peaks which are full of jewels and minerals and are decorated with nice trees creepers and shrubs the sounds of the waterfalls on the mountain create a pleasing vibration in this way the mountain stands increasing the beauty of all directions hari krishna hari krishna yeah so think about the 80000 miles high the mountain right? and then surrounded by the sagar and the ocean of milk okay sir chavanij vanangri samantat पय उर्मि करोति शामलाम भूमि हरिन ग्राउंड एट द फुट ऑफ द माउंटेन इज ऑलवेज ऑलवेज वॉश्ड बाय वेव्स ऑफ मिल्क दैट प्रोड्यूस एमरल्स ऑल अराउंड इन द एथ एथ डायरेक्शन नॉर्थ साउथ ईस्ट वेस्ट एंड द डायरेक्शन मिडवे बिटवीन दैम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण Right, it's like from Shrimad Bhagavatam, we understand that there are various oceans. Somewhere there is an ocean filled with milk. Somewhere an ocean of liquor, ocean of ghee, ocean of oil, and ocean of sweet water. Thus, there are different varieties of oceans within this universe, right? On different planets. सिद्ध चारण गंधर्वे विद्याधर्मे किन्नरेपेक्षर प्लेनेट्स द सिद्धास चारणास गंधर्व विद्याधर्स सर्पेन्स किन्नरास एंड अप्सरास गो टू दैट माउंटेन टू स्पोर्ट Thus, all the caves of the mountain are full of these denizens of the heavenly planets. And right? so, as we know, there are higher planets than us, and we have also read about the Siddhas, Charnas, Gandharvas, and Vidyadars. Right? They all stay in the higher planets. Right? And it's mentioned that they go to those mountains, the Trikut mountain. Right? <clears throat> it says that as ordinary men play in the salty ocean. <laughs> The inhabitants of the higher planetary systems go to the ocean of milk. They float in the ocean of milk and also enjoy various sports within the caves of Trikut Mountain. Anil ji, yatra sangeeta sanna dharna dharna dubdu ham marshya abhi garjanti harya shlagina para shankya. Because of the resounding vibrations of the denizens of heaven singing in the caves. The lions there, being very proud of their strength, near roar with unbearable envy, thinking that another lion is roaring in that way. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Now, so Subhadra Goswami is describing that whole thing. You know, it's also mentioned that in the higher planetary systems, there are not only different types of human beings, but also animals like lions and elephants. There are trees. and the land is made of emeralds such is the creation of supreme personality of god had yeah shila bhakti don thakur had sung in this regard keshav tuya jagat chitra my lord keshav your creation is colorful and full of varieties is what is mentioned and right? <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> also what is 
being mentioned is that one must take knowledge from a perfect person like Sukhdev Goswami. Says Mahajano Yena Gata Sa Pantahe. Our duty is to follow the instructions of the Mahajans. There are 12 Mahajans, and Sukhdev Goswami is one of them. Sukhdev Goswami is reciting the Srimad Bhagavatam. He understands everything. And what is mentioned in our Vedas is there are 12 Mahajans who are able to impart all this knowledge. And I, we have read it before, right? The 12 Mahajans are Shvambhur, Narada, Sambho, Kumara, Kapilo, Manu, Prahlado, Janako, Bhishma, Balir, Veya, Sakir, Vayam. Yeah, so Shvambhur is Lord Brahma himself. Narad Muni, Devrishi Narad. Sambhu is Lord Shiva. Kumara is Sanat Kumars. Right? We have seen Sanat Kumars is also incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Kapil Muni we read about. Right? Manu. Right? The Manu is Prahlad Maharaj. Janak Maharaj. Right? Raja Janak. Bhishma Pitamaha. Raja Bali. Vaya Sakir. That is, that is the Vyas. Dev Vyas. Uh, Vyas Dev's son is the Subdev Goswami. Says here, Vyasaki is Subdev Goswami. Whatever he says, we consider to be factual. That is perfect knowledge. Right? Because they have perfect knowledge. And that's why Srimad Bhagavatam, Ved Vyas Ji, compiled this, instructed to Subdev Goswami Ji. And Subdev Goswami Ji is himself reciting this to Parikshit Bhagavatam. And that's why all these descriptions given even from the fourth Manuvanta, right? They have all that knowledge. So it is not just some story, but the facts are being narrated, is what is being mentioned, right? Okay. Nana Rani Pashuvrat Sangal Sangal. Sang Puldrone Lankrita Chitra Chitra Dru Masuro Dian Kalkant Kalkant Vihangamam Vihangamam. The valley beneath Trikut mountains are beautifully decorated by many varieties of jungle animals, and in the trees which are maintained in garden by demigods, varieties of birds chirp with sweet voices. Trikut mountain has many lakes and rivers with beaches covered by small gems resembling grains of sand. The water is as clear as crystal, and when the demigod damsels bathe in it, their bodies lend fragrance to the water and the breeze, thus enriching the atmosphere. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So nice purple. Let's read this, Anilji. Even in the material world, there are many grades of living entities. The human beings on earth generally cover themselves with external fragrances to stop their bad bodily odors. But here we find that because of the bodily fragrance of the demigod, damsels, the rivers, lakes, the breeze, and the entire atmosphere of the Kut mountain also become fragrant. Since the bodies of the damsels in the upper planetary systems are so beautiful, we can just imagine how beautifully formed are the bodies of the vacuum damsels or the damsels in the Vrindavan the gopis. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Huh? Ajay? Tasya Dronya Bhagavato Varnasya Mahatmana Uddhyan Mitum Mannam Akridam Suryoshitam Sarvato Alankrit Alankritam Deve Nitya Push Nitya Pushpa Faladrumai Mandare Mandare Parijatraishu Patila Shoka 
पाटला सुख चंपक चुपते हैं पियाले डाउन लिटिल बिट आई कैन सी रामनाथ कैरपी क्रम क्रम के नारी नारी के कलेश कलेशपुर के मधुक शालता 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 तमाले रसार्जुन अरिष्ट अरिस्टो द्राक्षेक्षुरक्षा Mayamalai. In a valley of Trikun, Trikut mountain, there were there was a garden called Rithumat. The the garden belonged to the great devotee Varun and and was a sporting place for damsels of the demigods. Flowers and fruits grew there in all seasons. Among them were mand mandras. परिजातास, पातावास, शोकास, चंपकास, कुटास, पियालास, पंसास, मैंगोस, अमरकास, प्रमुकास, कोकोनट ट्रीज, डेट ट्रीज एंड पोमेग्रेट पोमेग्रेनेट्स। देर वर मेनी मधुकास, पाम ट्री, तमालास, आसनास, अर्जुनास, अरिस्तास Udambaras, lakas, banyan, banyan trees, kimsukas, and sandalwood trees. There were also pikumaradas, kovidaras, sarlaras, suradarus, grapes, sugar canes, bananas, jambu, madaris, akshas, abhayas, and amal amal amalakis. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So this is how Sudhir Goswami is continuing describing the value of Trikut Mountain. Uh, yeah. Krishna. Pilve ha kapi thay thay jambi vrto bhalla takadi bhi tasmin sarah suvi pulam lasat kanchana pankajam kumudot फल शतपत्र शतपत्र मत्त शतपद निर्गुष्टम कलस्वने हंस कारण चक्राहे सार सैरपी जल कुकुट कोयुकुजित मत्स्य कश्चप संचार चलत चलत पदार पदरज पय कदम्ब वेत सन सन सनली पवन जलु कैरुत कुंदेह कुरुब को काशोक शिशे कुट जैंगुदेह कुबजके स्वर्ण युति युति भीर्नागपुन्ना पुन्नाग जाति भी मल्लिका शत पत्रे पत्रे माधवी जालका दिवी शोभित तीर तीरजेश चानेर तुभिरल द्रुमे इन दैट गार्डन देर वॉज अ वेरी लार्ज लेक filled with shining golden lotus flowers and the flowers known as kumud kalar utpal and satapatra which added excellent beauty to the mountain there were also bilva uh, kapita jambira and bhalat 
taka trees intoxicated bumblebees drank honey and hummed with chirp chirping of the birds whose songs were very melodious the lake was crowded with swans kardanvas uh, chakravarkas cranes and flocks of water chickens tetuhas uh, koyasis and other murmuring birds because of the agitating movements of the fish and tortoises the water was decorated with pollen that had fallen from the lotus flowers the lake was surrounded by the kadamba flowers vetasa flowers nalas nipas vanju uh, vanjulakas kundas kurubakas ashokas srisas sirisas kutajas uh, in gudas kubjakas swarna yutis nagas kurnagas jatis malikas satpatras jalakas and madvilatas the banks were also evidently uh, adorned with varieties of trees that yielded flowers and fruits in all season thus the entire mountain stood gloriously decorated hare krishna Hare Krishna. Yeah, how beautifully it's described how the mountains were decorated. Right? So you see this. Uh, so read this, uh, Ajay. Judging from the exhaustive description of the lakes and river in Trikuj mountain on earth, there is no comparison to their super excellence. On the planets, however, there are many such wonders. For instance, we understand that there are two million different types of trees are not all of them are ex exhibited on Earth. Srimad Bhagavatam presents the total knowledge of the affairs of the universe. It not only describes this universe, but also takes into account the spiritual world beyond the universe. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. तत्रेकदा तद गिरिकान नाशय है तरे नु गिरवारन यूत पश्चरन संकट कम कीचक वेनु वेत्र वद विशाल गुल्मां प्रूर जन्वन अनुस्पतीन The leader of the elephants who lived in the forest of Mount Entrikut once wandered toward the lake with his female elephants he broke many plants, creepers, thickets, and trees, not caring for their piercing horns. So now it's, the Goswami is telling about the leader of the elephant. Yeah. Anilji? Yad kanda matra darayo gayendra gagra dayo vyalam ragaha sakangagaha maho ragaschapi vayad dravanti kagor krishna sarvast mariyaha Simply by catching scent of that elephant, all the other elephants, the tigers and the other ferocious animals, such as lions, rhinoceros, great serpents, and black and white sarbhas, fled in fear. The Kamari deer also fled. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. अन्यत्र श्रुदा हरिन शशादय शशादय चरंत भीता यदनुग्रह बाय द मर्सी ऑफ द ऑफ दिस एलिफेंट एनिमल्स लाइक फॉक्सेस वुल्फ्स बफेलोस बेयर्स बोर्स गोपूचार्स पोर्किपाइंस मंकीज रैबिट्स एंड अदर डियर एंड मेनी अदर स्मॉल एनिमल्स लॉयटर्ड एल्सवेयर इन द फॉरेस्ट दे वर नॉट अफ्रेड ऑफ हिम मच्छुत कर गिरिम गर, गर्णम गर्मणा परिता प्रकम्पयन 
ನಿಷೇವ್ಯ ಮಾಡುವ ಅಲಿ ಅಲಿಕುಲ್ ಕುಲೈ ಮರ್ದಾಶನೈ ಸರ್ ಸರ್ವ ಅನಿಲ ಪಂಕಜ ಜರೇಣು ಶಿಶಿತ ಜರೇಣು ಶಿತ ಜಿಘ್ರ ಜಿಘ್ರನ್ವಿಂದೂರಾನ್ಮದ್ವಿಲೈಕ್ಷಣ ವೃತ ಸ್ವಯೂಥೇನ ತ್ರಿಷಾರ್ದಿದ್ದೇನ ಸರೋವರಾಭ್ಯ surrounded by the herds other elephants including females and followed by the young ones gajpati the leader of the elephants make trikut mountain tremble all over or all around because of the weight of his body he was perspiring liquor dripped from his mouth and his vision was overwhelmed by intoxication he was being served by bumblebees who drank honey and from a distance he could smell the dust of the lotus flowers which was carried from the lake by the breeze thus surrounded by his associates who were affected by thirst he soon arrived at the bank of the lake hari krishna hari krishna yeah, so first sudhir so goswami has described how trikut mountain was right trikut mountain surrounded by the milky way uh, the ocean of milk and now he is telling the story about gajpati right from the king of the elephants uh hey krishna bhai uh hey krishna bhai ji vidya vidya hai tasmin mita ನಿರ್ಮಲಂಡಿ relief of his fatigue then with the aid of his trunk he drank the cold clear nectarine water which was mixed with the dust of lotus flower and water lilies until he was fully satisfied hari krishna hari krishna yeah. so there is the nectarine water hmm? so pushkare no dhrit shikaram bhuvi nirpap yayan sanshane yanatha guhi ಗ್ರೀನೀಕರೇಣುಕರಂಭಾಕ್ಷೂರ್ಮಧೋಚಸ್ತೀಂಚಕ್ರಿಪನೋ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ the elephant was certainly strong and he tried his best to get free from this danger sent by providence hari krishna hari krishna so crocodile attacks the elephant uh, ajay tatha turam yuth patim karunu karenvo karenvo ಗಜಾಶ್ಕನಾಫ್ಟರ್ ಸೀಂಗ್ ಗಜೇಂದ್ರ ಇನ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇವ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ 
his wives felt very, very sorry and began to cry. The other elephants wanted to help Gajendra, but because of the crocodile's great strength, they could not rescue him by grasping him from behind. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Nisha? O King, the elephant and the crocodile fought in this way, pulling one another in and out of the water for 1,000 years. Upon seeing the fight, the demigods were very surprised. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, what it means is Sama Sahastram. This thing, right, where the crocodile is pulling his leg, that fight went on for 1,000 years. 1,000 years. Yeah? Says here, Sama Sahastram Jagaman Mahipate. Yeah? Premsu? Tato Gajendrasya Manobalo Jasam Kalendirghain Maham Uda Veya Vikrasha Manasya Jalevad Siddhato Vipriyat Yo Bhuta Sakalam Jalokasa. Thereafter, because of being pulled into the water and fighting for many long years, the elephant became diminished in his mental, physical, and sensual strength. The crocodile, on the contrary, became an animal of the water, increased in enthusiasm, physical strength, and sensual power. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Itam gajendra se yadapu sankatam tanasya dehi vivasho yadvichaya tapari yanna atma vimoksha nechiram radya vimam buddhi matapya padyatya when the king of the elephant saw that he was under the clutches of the crocodile by the will of providence and being embodied and circumstantially helpless, could not save himself from danger, he was extremely afraid of being killed. He consequently thought for a long time and finally reached the following decision. Right? So the king of elephant, he finally started thinking that there is no way he can save himself and then he started thinking about something else and to read what a nice purpose so let's read this uh, anilji everyone in the material world is engaged in a struggle for existence everyone tries to save himself from danger but when one is unable to save himself if he is pious he then takes shelter of the lotus feet of the supreme personality of godhead this is confirmed in Bhagavad Gita 7.16. Chatur Bidha Bhajante Maam Janaha Sukrito Sukritano Prajuna Arto Jignasura Arthartu Kyanita Maharata Sabha. Four kinds of pious men, namely one who is in danger one who is in need of money, one who is searching for knowledge, and one who is inquisitive. Begin to take shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead in order to be saved or to advance. The king of the elephants, in his condition of danger, decided to seek shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord. After considerable thought, he intelligently arrived at his correct decision. Such a decision is not reached by a sinful man, Therefore, in Bhagavad Gita, it is said that those who are pious Prati, can decide that in a dangerous or awkward condition, one should seek shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So what is being mentioned here is, um, in Bhagavad Gita, it says, Chatur Vidha Bhajante Mam. Lord Krishna is saying that Chatur Vidha, like, like the four types of people who... Bhajante Mam, like one, four kinds of pious men, pious men who uh, come for the shelter to Lord Sri Krishna. His first one is one who is in danger. So then they will pray to God and right, say, the other one 
people who need financial things, they will pray to God to get more money. And one who is searching for knowledge, one who is searching for the gyan, they will pray to God, right? Or surrender to God. And then one who is inquisitive, inquisitive, right? More spiritual, they begin to take shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So generally, that's what is described. But here, the elephant, the king of the elephant, being in danger, he decided to seek shelter of the lotus feet of Lord Sri Krishna. And <clears throat> read this. Uh, Namami me jata ya to ramga jahe Utahe karinya prabhuvanti mochitum Grahena pashena vidhatu ravito Apayaham chatam yami param parayanam. The other elephants who are my friends and relatives could not rescue me from this danger. What then to speak of my wives? They cannot do anything. It is by the will of providence that I have been attacked by this crocodile, and therefore I shall seek shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is always the shelter of everyone, even of great personalities. Yeah, Tami Param, Yami Param Prayanam, right? Who is shelter of even the great personalities. So, is what the crocodile, uh, what the elephant, the king of the elephant is thinking. Yeah? यह कष्टनेशो बलिनो अंतकोरजात प्रचंड वेगा विदावतो भ्रष्म वित्तम प्रपन्नम परिपाति यद्भयान मृत्युह प्रधावत चरणम तमी महि The supreme personality of Godhead is certainly not known to everyone, but is very powerful and influential. Therefore, although the serpent of eternal time, which is fearful in force, endlessly chases everyone, ready to swallow him, if one who fears this serpent seeks shelter of the Lord, the Lord gives him protection. For even death runs away in, in fear of the Lord. I therefore surrender unto him the great and powerful supreme authority who is actual shelter of everyone. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So therefore, the the general, the the king of the elephant thinks I should surrender unto the supreme personality of Godhead. Nice purpose. So let's read this. Uh, Ajay. Uh, Ajay. One who is intelligent understands that there is a great and supreme authority above everything. The great authority appears in different incarnations to save the innocent from disturbances. As confirmed in Bhagavad Gita, Paritranayam Sadhunam Vinashaya Chadushkaram. The Lord appears in his various incarnations for two purposes, to inhalate the dushkriti, the sinful, the sinful, and to protect his devotees. The kind of the, the king of the elephant decided to surrender unto, his, unto him. This is intelligent. One must know that great supreme personality of Godhead and surrender unto him. The Lord comes personally to instruct us how to be happy, and only fools and rascals do not see any intelligence. This supreme authority, the supreme person. In this Truti mantra, it is said, Bhishasmad Vata Pavate Vishodeti Surya Bhishamad Agnish Chandra Cha. Mithyur Dhavati Panchma. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Then? It is out of fear of the Supreme Personality of Godhead that the wind is blowing, that the sun is dist distributing heat and light, and that death is chasing everyone. Thus, there is supreme controller as confirmed in Bhagavad Gita 9.10. Maya Dhyakshena Prakriti Suyate Sachar 
Charam. This material manifestation is working so well because of the Supreme Controller. Any intelligent person, therefore, can understand that there is a Supreme Controller. Furthermore, the Supreme Controller himself appears as Lord Krishna, as Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Ramchandra to give us instructions and to show us by example how to surrender unto the Supreme Personality of the Godhead. Yet those who are Duskriti, the lowest of men, do not surrender. Namam Duskritno Muda Prapadde Dante Nara Dhamma. In Bhagavad Gita, the Lord clearly says, Mithyu Sarva Haras Chaham. I am all de devouring death. Just with you, or death is the representative or who takes everything away from the living entity who has accepted a material body. No one can say, I do not fear death. This is a false proposition. Everyone fears death. However, one who seeks shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead can be saved from death. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Nisha? <clears throat> One may argue, does the devotee not die? The answer is that a devotee certainly must give up his body, for the body is material. The difference is, however, that for one who surrenders to Krishna fully and who is protected by Krishna, the present body is his last. He will not again receive a material body to be subjected to death. This is assured in Bhagavad Gita 4.9. Uh, a devotee after giving up his body does not accept a material body but returns home back to Godhead. We are always in danger because at any moment death can take place. It is not that only Gajendra, the king of elephants, uh, was afraid of death. Everyone should fear death because everyone is caught by the crocodile of eternal time and may die at any moment. The best course, therefore, is to seek shelter of Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and be saved from the struggle for existence in this material world, in which one repeatedly takes birth and dies. To reach this understanding, it's the ultimate goal of life. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so that's the ultimate goal of life. Like the king of elephants is surrendering unto Lord Sri Krishna. And this is what is mentioned that we should seek shelter of Lord Sri Krishna, surrender unto him, doing the devotional service, the nine different ways which we read, right? Shavanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Ishmaranam, Padasevanam, Archanam, Dashanam, Sakyam. Atmani Vedanam, right? Those nine different ways we can do the devotional service and like reading Srimad Bhagavatam, chanting, right? So we surrender unto Lord Sri Krishna. And thus ends the Bhakti Vedanta purpose of the eighth can to second chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam entitled The Elephant Gajendra's Crisis. Yeah. So we'll continue reading the next chapter for the Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai. And the chapter 3 is the prayers of Gajendra for surrender, right? So there's a beautiful prayers of King of Elephant, Gajendra. We'll read that tomorrow. I'm sorry, we'll read that on Monday after the break, right? And let's hear a nice bhajan. <clears throat> Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 
Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna
श्री राधे कृष्ण भगवान की